Hey, so you know how you said you'd help me out with my biology project? Well, yeah. What kind of animals are we going to talk about? Bongo! Like the drum? No, like this. Bongo, 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 bongo. It's found in a zoo. Shot up in the forest belt of southern Africa. I bet those horns get caught in branches. Actually, here we go. The bongo lays its horns against its shoulders while it's running through the undergrowth. They run like that all the time. Why, yes. Yes, they do. They wouldn't survive in the savannah. I suppose not. It is a bit of a specialised behaviour. Lions would go, oh, no, no. When they aren't sleeping or mating. What? See these males? All they do is eat, sleep and mate. Surely they drink at some point. Yes, but they can get the liquids they need just from the bodies of their prey. So... Vampire kitties. No. Um, why don't they just drink water? They can't always find it. Savannah, clearly. Oh, so they've got some excellent kidney powers there. Indeed, they have extra so- Do seals eat kidneys? Um, I don't actually know. That lot of good you are. Well, I do know that they're carnivorous like the lion, but they have this weird habit of eating rocks. Kidneys are much tastier. I agree. But these little rocks get rid of all the fish bones in their stomach. That's handy. Well, it's hardly going to be footy. That was a horrible joke. Let's move on. The seal scratching itself. That was adorable. Otters are the cutest. In the video, this is where we should show the clip. Look at you! Wow, um, I'm going to agree with you for the first time, like, ever. This is, um, a pretty monumental moment in history. Celebrate with Vicky? Not that monumental. So, why do you like otters? Their methods of adorable. Like, being fluffy and stuff? That would be it. Very nice. Do you know why they have fur like that? We've been over this, I will, when you tell me. Well, they have a long and a short layer of fur which work together to capture air and it keeps them warm when they're swimming as well as waterproof. How does it keep out the water? Well, they're dense enough to resist water coming in and the glands produce oil that... Whoa, whoa, I get it. They're pretty awesome. Red pandas are awesome too. Prove it. Fine. Damn. You know I contain more uh, knowledge in the area of animals than you do. Granted, but what is the speed of light? Um... 3.0 times 10 to the power of 8. Whatever. Anyway, back to the red panda. Did you know that they've got fluffy soles on their feet? so that um, when they're climbing and stuff on wet branches, they don't flip. Aww, fluffy feet! I want to pet one, but they'd probably just run away because of all that awesome furry pawsness and the fact they've got really cool sharp claws that help them climb quicker. Seagulls make horrible pets. Your mind is a bit confusing. Can you deny that they make horrible pets? I hate how they stalk people who have food. You know what they say. Death to Australia. It's worse when people actually give them food. I mean, I wish I knew how they need to flock around said idiot type person. Really seagull feeders, they should take care of starfish instead. So many sea stars! So many! Agreed, though sea stars is a better term to you. You, my friend, are remembering hedge one hugger mugger. Yeah. Sorry, that was really harsh. You're forgiven. Actually, sea stars have a really cool reproductive technique. Really? Basically, some of the species have this thing where they can have an arm chopped off, but as long as it has that central plate on it, a new sea star will grow asexually, and the other one will just grow back its own. I mean, that's a bit cool. Hey, is it true that each arm of the starfish has two gonads in it? 
You worry me. But yeah, that's true. As I should, I'm the kind of person that wants to be a bad cat when they grow up. The proper name is Binturong. Why are you a verbal grammar Nazi? Shut up, so you want to know stuff about the Binturong. You're going to tell me anyway, so... Yes. You know how monkeys use their tail as a fifth limb? Binturongs are one of the only carnivores, the only carnivores that are able to do that. Why do they need it? So, they kind of live in really dense rainforests like the bongo from before, but... Since they need to um, hunt in trees, they just need that a bit of extra help. I must discover how to be a binturong. I think you're more of a meerkat. How so, flap dragon? Not a flap dragon! And I say so because they have ability to close their ears against sand and stuff. And you just decide to stop listening to me whenever you want. What was that? Just, just kidding, just kidding. So why do they do that? They need to do it to stop sand from flying in when they're digging or, you know, in the desert or something. So it's for their own good? Yeah. I relate. So can you stop insulting me, please? It's partially sibling rivalry and partially a method of keeping our audience interested. You're smarter than you pretend to be. I would like this if I didn't hear that anyway, thanks for helping me out. You're welcome. Bye your 11 biology class.